Om Shanti, welcome back. We are doing the recording of 4th of September Godly Blessing where Godfather wants us to be detached like an angel. Have you seen an angel? The feet of the angel are never on through the ground. They are never touching onto the ground. That means any person in your life who comes in your life helps you out but doesn't want anything in return, doesn't expect anything in return, doesn't ask for anything, doesn't show that they want something in return is an angel in your life. Remember that. Can be anybody in your life. A stranger too. So let's see what father has to so say over here. Father says, may you finish all the subtle threads of attachment, fly in the flying stage and become a perfect angel. God and the angels. Are you an angel? Let's find that out. An angel means one who has no connection with the old world. They'll go to any length because they are beyond time, because they are beyond material gains and goods and wants and desires so they can do anything for you. They'll go to any lengths to help you out with the old world. So check in a subtle way. Check in a subtle way whether the slightest trace of a thread of attachment pulls you to itself. Whether we give reasons for why we can't help somebody, whether we find out why I shouldn't help that person because last time when I was wanting the help, that person didn't give me the help. So am I like that? Am I thinking in those manners? Do I have threads of attachments that I need something in return? I need name and fame in return for me to help somebody out. If you like something, it would definitely pull you to itself. Something could be a thing also, a material thing. It would definitely pull you to itself. That means I am not able to help somebody out. I'm not able to be of service to somebody because my own physical desires, my own needs have not yet been met. So it's like something like when I have enough, then I'm going to help somebody. Or when I help somebody, I'm going to have enough. Which is an angelic thinking. Put that answer down if you find the answer right. So God says then, some say that they don't have any desires, but that they like something. No desires, but they like something or someone. So desire is a thick God and to like something is a subtle thread. So souls who are desireless, they are there to help and guide other people and help them out without any desires, no money need, no name and fame need, then they are the true angels. But somebody who wants something in return for their services, like even this knowledge is completely something which you cannot put any value to. But if you put, start putting value to this and you start asking for any name, fame, for money or anything, then you are not an angel because you need something in return for this. And this is godly knowledge. You can't put a price to this. Then God says, so desire is a thick cord and to like something is a subtle thread. Now finish even that and become a perfect angel. Are you an angel? These are the different things for you to become an angel. You can be angel for your family. You can be an angel for your people. You can be angel for your, for your country, for your city, for your society. You can be an angel for somebody who's in pain, in suffering, in depression or any, any other kind of need which they have. You can be an angel, but a desireless one. Do you have the strength? Do you know how to become that? If you want to learn how to become an angel for people, because that's a very light, because angels are very light in their mind and heart. And if you want to become light in your mind and heart, then become an angel. And you learn that at Brahma Kumaris. With this, Om Shanti.